Good evening, everyone. I'm Dominus Orbis, and today I'm going to be doing Packet Tracer 3.1.4.3, Configure VLAN Trunking Protocol, and Dynamic Trunking Protocol. This video is part of the playlist CCNA Routing and Switching 6.0 Bridging Course. Cisco just updated its CCNA curriculum for the routing and switching. And this uh, playlist will be ideal for those who already hold the CCNA uh, or are planning on renewing it soon. Okay, let's go ahead and look at what the configuration says here. Uh, pretty much, we just need to cable it and set up a VTP and DTP. Now, note that you can use a crossover cable or you can use a straight through because it has an auto detecting sensors on the port interfaces here on these 2960s. I'm going to go ahead and use the straight through. Actually, this one should be 9. Okay. Yep. Uh, the packet tracer is not exactly correct in that if you follow the instructions, you won't get all the points. So it's just a little error. That's fine. We can work with it. I'm on the distribution layer switch. So let's just get started on interface F07. That's the first one. Going to do switch port mode dynamic desirable. Pretty much if you do a question mark here, you can see desirable will do uh, negotiate the trunking mode. Now, I really don't think that's a good idea, but in a really large network, uh, you might not be able to or have the manpower, uh, woman power, to go ahead and manually hard code all the switches for uh, trunking, access mode, whatnot. Um, however, I don't think it's a very good practice to dynamically allow anything to for the machine to decide for you. So that's just my opinion. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Now, if you look at the packet tracer right here. I got five points, right? See, whenever I eliminate the command, actually, I get my an extra point. And that's what I was talking about. The packet tracer is incomplete. But we'll just follow the instructions. And then we need to go into fast Ethernet 9. There we go. And issue the same command. Okay. And a nice little command here, show interfaces trunk. Shows the mode desirable as per the instructions. Okay, good. Encapsulation, the N stands for negotiated. And that's what desirable, dynamic desirable means. Okay. Trunking, ports 7 and 9, all VLANs pretty much. Except for the extended range. All right. We're also going to go into... VTP mode server. This is going to be our server. Change the domain. Add a password. Go ahead and add some VLANs. I always exit out after I create it because whenever you exit out, it go the software. We'll go ahead and add that VLAN to the VLAN database. And if you don't do exit, then it will not add it to the VLAN database until you do exit. So you can add several VLANs and it'll only be one change configuration revision. For example, this is what I'm talking about configuration revision. Okay. All right, see. Okay, great. And show VLAN brief. Okay, there's my VLANs. Show interfaces trunk. And here's my VLANs right here that are allowed on my trunk. Now we need to go back to the access layer switch and configure that 
for a VTP mode client. The reason we're going to be using VTP mode is that way the VLAN databases can be shared between switches and we don't have to manually code them in. Oh, what am I going to do? See, the VLANs are not there. Trunking was the auto mode, negotiated, 802.1Q. And the VTP status is, it already got the domain name, but the revision number is zero because it doesn't have a password yet. And it's also in server mode, so we're going to change that to client and add the password. There we go. Now I should have my VLANs. There they are. One reason you might not want to use VTP in your network is because, for example, if you have a lab where you're practicing configurations and you use a switch and then one day you accidentally put that switch into the network, or you put it in the network, not accidentally, but you forget to clear it, the VLAN database especially, because so that's not uh, in your running config, it's in its own uh, separate file, and that's why you have to delete vlan.dat, right? Anyways, you might not want to use VTP uh, in your network because if you put that switch in there, it has a higher configuration number than another switch, and it's in server mode, it will change all the VLAN databases for every switch on the network that has the same domain and password. We don't want that. That'll bring down your network. Okay. Oh, show VTP status. All right, looks good. Let's see what 30 out of 34. Now if you want to get the points you just uh, have to do it for a grade or you just select the points. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. However, we're not going to have do show no trunking now. There's no trunking interfaces. So I won't be able to send traffic from the distribution layer to the access layer. So this is not a function switch at this point. So we want to go ahead and negate that command. See? And there's my trunks again. Once again, my name is Dominus Orbis, and I hope this video has been informative, and I want to thank you for viewing.